Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and Amazon did something that a lot of customers thought unthinkable this week. They raised the price of their Amazon Prime service. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Amazon Prime is a monthly or yearly subscription, based on, depending on what subscription model you go with, that gets you free two-day shipping on any items, regardless of price. It gets you access to Amazon Music, um, Amazon Prime on the video side, certain Kindle books free, and yeah, it's, to be perfectly honest, a good deal. I, I, I hate the company, but it's a good deal. But the thing is, people are upset because for some people, the price went up as much as 18%. While the $99 yearly plan actually remains unchanged, if you're paying monthly, you're going to be going from $10.99 to $12.99. And if you're a student, you're going to be going from five forty nine to six forty nine, which, you know, it's just a dollar. But you know, eh, when you're a student, you're poor. And many people are, of course, wondering why would Amazon do this? And some people are even going beyond that, saying they're outright enraged, and that they will cancel their Amazon Prime accounts. Which, <laughs> for me personally, I think that would be a good thing. But to those of you who are claiming, why are they doing this? How dare they? Don't they realize all the people they will lose? Here's the thing: they're They've thought about this, and Amazon Prime is a lot of things, but a moneymaker, it sure as heck ain't. Amazon Prime is actually a major, major money loss for Amazon. This one service bleeds the company somewhere between 2 to $3 billion a year in losses. Amazon doesn't really make a dime off the service. Furthermore, this is not exactly the first time the price has been hiked. To my recollection, when it launched, it cost like $40. Then one day it was $50. Then one day it was $99. And here's the thing, in terms of the yearly costs, I bet you in a year or so, you're going to see it rise to $150. So if the thing doesn't make money, what's the point of it and why is it going to keep going up in price? Well, the point of Amazon Prime is not to make money, but to keep the wheels spinning. The whole idea is that it gives you a little bit of the streaming music. It gives you a little bit of the video. It gives you some Kindle books. It gives you free two-day shipping, which is really what eats Amazon's money. And it just keeps you invested in their services. It's That's all it's there for, to get you invested in the company and to stay with the company. How many times have you thought about getting something, an item from, say, like Target, and held back because even though it might be cheaper Target, guess what? Amazon offers free shipping, they'll just take it to your door. I'm willing to bet that happens a lot. And that's pretty much what Amazon counts on. It's not about them making money, it's about you not shopping at the competition. Of course, a lot of you probably don't care about that. All you care about is free shipping, and what you're asking is, yeah. Why is it going up in price, though? Well, it's going up in price because, honestly, they have to start closing the losses at least a little bit. And Amazon is now at a point where they can start demanding a little bit more of you and you are so invested in the service, you won't cancel. Seriously, raise your hand if you're actually going to cancel Amazon Prime because of this. Chances are you aren't. I mean, that's not an issue for me, though. I don't have Amazon Prime. You're going to gripe about the rising costs. You're going to gripe about how now it's going to cost you 18% more. But at the end of the day, eh, you like having things delivered to you. So whatever, Amazon, take my money. Also, a little prediction here. Not only will Amazon Prime continue to go up in price, but you're going to be getting less for that service in the future. For those of you who are not aware, Amazon recently ended a program called Anime Strike. And Anime Strike was basically their way to compete in the anime market. Now... The thing about Anime Strike was, even though you had a Prime membership, you had to spend an additional $6 a month just to get it. Amazon discontinued it when it didn't succeed, but that shows that Amazon is thinking really hard about including everything in the Prime package because they just simply can't afford to do it anymore. Personally, I think the first thing you're going to see go is the Kindle books because I don't think people use it that much. But then you're going to start seeing the maybe the movies start to become less generous with what you can watch for free. And then finally, the music service will be separated. Amazon wants to get you using their products, 
and using them all the time so that even when they split them up and you have to start paying individually for them, guess what? You're going to do it because eh, it's Amazon's name. You've been using it for years. Why stop now? And if you don't believe me, just ask anyone who ever bought an iPod who now has to settle for these really terrible iPod touches that don't function as well as they used to and don't have nearly half the space that you used to be able to get in these things. But guess what? You've been using iPod forever, so why stop now? I mean, I personally think it's really sad how people just can't really look at it and realize that at one point, Amazon Prime will not be a service worth getting. It will not be useful to you. It'll only be useful to Amazon. It will take, it won't give. But, hey, they've really trained the people good. I mean, I go to stores and I buy things. I support the local economy. I support people who work, people who own businesses. A lot of people don't care about that. I mean, yeah, it'd take maybe five minutes to go to the store and pick something up. Probably cost the exact same amount of money if you bought it from them and if you bought it from Amazon, but bringing it to the house is a huge thing. Oh, and by the way, look soon. Maybe not in the next two years, but in three or four, Amazon Prime will soon only give you free shipping if you spend $35 or more. And if you don't have Amazon Prime want free shipping, probably a $70 purchase. Because if you honestly think Amazon is going to stay unprofitable forever, you have another thing coming to you. Although they have remained unprofitable for 20 years. Wait, what do you think? Are any of you going to cancel Amazon Prime because of this? Or do you intend to keep it? I think you probably intend to keep it. But let me know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member for $1 a month. As always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.